Let's take a look at how to create a pivot table and chart in Google Sheets. This first tab is a subset of data that we collected through a survey monkey audience survey that we ran several years ago. And the main question we asked is, what is your primary CRM? We got a wide variety of answers, including a lot of others, and we're going to filter out the others. And then we also asked, how satisfied are you with whatever CRM you have? And then this information, the number of full-time employees or the range and the location that was provided automatically by SurveyMonkey. So we're going to create a pivot table and chart that shows the level of satisfaction between two of the top CRM products in the market. And the way we're going to do that is by selecting the entire range and then going to the data menu and selecting pivot table. And here we have our blank pivot table canvas and over on the right is our report editor. So we're going to use actually all four of these areas. The first thing we're going to do is add a field to rows. So this is going to be what appears in, in these rows. So I'm going to select add field and then click on primary CRM. And then second, I'm going to select add field under columns and select how satisfied are you. And now what I need are the values. So I'm going to select add field next to values and also select how satisfied are you. Now these are just going to come up as zeros because this is not numeric data. In order to display non-numeric data as numeric, I need to select the summarize by count A. And now you see the data filling in. And I want to filter this down just to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and to Salesforce. So I'm going to click on Add Field here and then select Primary CRM. Click on Show All Items. Clear all of them. And then just check Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Salesforce. And then click OK. So now I'm down to a much smaller set of data. Now, as you can see here, we had a different number of overall respondents for Microsoft Dynamics and Salesforce, but let's see if we can use a chart just to get some relative comparisons on satisfaction. So to create a chart, I'm just going to select the range and then go to Insert Chart. And then I'm going to select this chart type right here under Recommendations. Click on Customizations and I'm going to unstack it so it's not additive. And then click on insert. So now we can see at a quick glance the relative number of people that were very dissatisfied with Salesforce was less than the relative number that was very dissatisfied with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So you can get some, make some other inferences from this data. And the other thing that you might want to do is publish this on your site. So if you click on this down arrow and select Publish Chart, you can then get the embed code for the information by clicking on Publish. And all you have to do is select this information, and there's some more detail in the associated post that tells you how to fit this properly into your blog.